Back when I started on this project 17 years ago, I had heard about these things called ceramic bearings. And, uh, and I started looking them up and I called some friends who I knew worked at NASA and they're like, yeah, we have some in our satellite program. They cost $100,000 each. And so I realized that was not really something that we were going to be able to use in our clock project. But by all accounts, they were definitely the thing that we wanted to use in our clock project. They could run without lubrication. They were mere diamond hard. And so when we started to build this full scale project, we knew that we wanted to use um, ceramic bearings exclusively and throughout the entire clock. When we started talking to different bearing manufacturers, uh, it wasn't until we spoke to Boca that kind of had the full range of what we wanted. They could send us a lot of samples and we started testing them and we ran them in tests in uh, places like this machine shop, in some cases for many years in order to get the number of cycles that the clock would need. And uh, I think the highest uh, number of cycles, over 350 million cycles we needed from one of the bearings to run without lubrication. No one had done those tests without lubrication before. So we did those tests and they all came back uh, amazing and so that's why we've been uh, working with Boca Bearing ever since.